invited him over and just as a little starter before we have our main lunch I've decided to make something with some bread for him and I know that he also likes pizza so we're combining <laughs> the two and making little pizza bread bites so let's get started all right so first of all for this recipe I've got my bread here that I'm going to roll out and what are you doing <laughs> bread? <laughs> I'm just squishing it a little bit. Right. That's okay. Just make it go a little bit further All than right. it would if it was the other way. If it was just a normal piece of bread. Very precious about his bread. Just calm down. Okay, and in the meantime, you also want to preheat your oven. So set it to about 190 degrees Celsius or 380 Fahrenheit. And just get that heated up. All right, so we flatten out the bread. It's all good. It's all right. looking bad, but it's all good. All right, so now I've got a glass, and I'm just going to cut out a couple of circles here. I can tell Mum about this recipe. She yeah. can make it for me. Oh, she'll be able to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then just keep all the extra bits because you can use that to make bread crumbs. Just dry them out and whiz them up in a blender, and you'll be able to use that for that. Okay, so now that I've cut those two out, I'm going to pass this board over to Jason and he can do the last two bits of bread over here while I get on to the next stage. Uh, roll these two out. You can do it. I have confidence in you. <laughs> Alright, so what I've got next is a muffin tray. And I've just got a little spray bottle with some water. So I'm just going to lightly spray this bread just so I can shape it into this muffin tin. It just makes it a bit easier to bend. And then I'm just going to push that into this muffin tin. Do the same with the next bit of bread. And look at that, that's looking wonderful there. I think I did it too much. <laughs> too much. Yeah. Look at that. Expert. He knows his bread. And we'll just spray this with a little bit of water to shape it in. So tell me about your love of bread. Where did it come from? My love? Well, it's, it, it's always been there from the Italian background. But then you lose it when you go into the, the low-carb, high-protein lifestyle when I was doing personal training. And then when I found high-carb vegan again, I thought, why aren't people eating bread when it's high-carbohydrate? And everyone's stuck on the fruit diets. We should be cooking this stuff, eating it every day. And then it just becomes an addiction. And you're just having sandwiches for breakfast, toasties for lunch, and the rest is uh, just Absolutely. keeps going. Yeah, I'm with you there. <laughs> All right, so we've now got these in the muffin tray. Mm -hmm. And you can put any fillings into this that you would normally put on a normal pizza. So... Obviously, you don't want as much moisture because we are going to just bake this bread up as is. Or you can actually put these in as they are now. Bake them for about 12 minutes and they'll go crispy and they'll stay much firmer than if you just bake them from scratch as a pizza. And then you can also put your filling in at the end. So that's another option there for you. So multiple ways with bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to spread this tomato paste into the base of these. Uh, we'll get a, a teaspoon. You can also just um, spread it on before you put these into the muffin tray. <laughs> I actually don't like it going all the way up the edge, so... Uh, yeah. You don't like to the edge pizzas, do you? Well, not in this context. <laughs> okay. So this is actually a perfect little recipe for kids. So that's why I'm making it. <laughs> He's just a big kid, I'm sure. All right. So I'm just going to put a little bit of fresh basil into these as well. Okay. Or a lot. <laughs> Hope you like your basil. I do. I love the basil. Again, you can put olives or um, 
if you're going to use mushrooms, they do release quite a bit of liquid, so maybe cook some mushrooms first and drain off that liquid, and you can also use that as a stock base as well, so if you have that spare, use it for that. Now this is just some steamed cubed potato that I cooked earlier and just let it cool down a little bit. So I'm just going to place that in. So being Italian, I'm sure you like your potato. I do like the chips, so... <laughs> Close enough. That'll do. This is usually in pasta or in something like that. Or potato pizza, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> And next I'm just going to put on some tomato. So tell us about your YouTube channel and Instagram that you've got. Yeah, well, it's all worked out coming down here. Mine's, my YouTube is basically on a lot of veganism, food, vlog related and just traveling. So, you know, combine it all right now. We're just eating and cooking and Absolutely. all vegan food. And then the Instagram is a lot of that too. So it's just sort of showing people recipes or ideas about different foods that they can eat and yeah just sort of relating those to what meat eating diets used to be yeah yeah and i'll have a link to jason's social media Thank you. links in the comments <laughs> below so you can check it out be warned there is a language warning there is there yeah oh, sometimes i usually like, <laughs> i'll leave at least a few of the letters and yeah <laughs> so yes all right just, language warning yeah, yeah. language warning <laughs> All what right. Is this? So this is actually some of the stretchy cheese that I ah, did a recipe for recently. So again, I'll put a link to that underneath the video too. So I'm just going to stretch that across. This has actually been sitting in the fridge, so you can use it straight from there. Wow. And I thought you were putting hummus on it. Pile it on. A hummus would be good too. I think we definitely need some stretchy cheese on here, because what is a pizza without cheese really? Okay, so these are loaded up and ready to go in the oven. Let's do it. Maybe. All right, so these have actually been cooking for about 17 minutes. I just left them in a little bit longer just to brown up and crisp up a little bit more. It was me, so I wanted it crispier. <laughs> crispier, that's right. All right, so let's get these out. Hot, hot. And I just like to put them onto a timber board just because it absorbs the moisture so it doesn't go all soggy. Same with any pizza bases when you have them, just put them on a pizza board and... They're full of good ideas, eh? They don't go soggy. <laughs> Absolutely. I've got to watch your channel more often. It's the Italian in me. <laughs> not. <laughs> the Germans in the brain. Yeah. Ooh, hot. Alright, so a quick snack to get started. Before we have our lunch. So. And you're about to make your own now, aren't you? <laughs> I'll pinch one if that's okay. Right, Let's do the taste test. Alright. Alright. Are we going to burn ourselves? Cha-ching. Cha -ching. Probably. Mm. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, well, it's really hot. Oh. Very hot, but very good. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, Ooh, steamy. Ooey gooey. That is cheesy. Mmm. Beautiful. Yum. These are really good. Mm -hmm. Quick and easy to make. Put in any filling that you like, and like I said, you can just bake these bases on their own and fill them later with hummus, yeah. falafels, whatever you want to put in there. Really quick and leftovers, easy. The kids will love you it. Have the cheese in the fridge and mm. put your leftovers in there. Absolutely. We're going to get into these right Cheers. now after they cool down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to check out Jason's channel. So, do you want to just let everyone know what your channel name is? Yeah, it's my name. Check that out, Jason Pizzino. She'll have the link somewhere down below. I will indeed. And it's all what I eat vlogs, traveling around, checking out good vegan food, people making it, <laughs> and restaurants. So, mm -hmm. cheers, guys. Thank you. Yum. Mm. See you for the next recipe. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Oh, hot. <laughs> yeah.